But hi everyone, um, Fighting Fantasy is 30 years old uh, this month, and I've just had through uh, Ian Livingstone's Blood of the Zombies. Um, I thought I'll, uh, I'll just uh, take a look at it on here, uh, do a little bit of a review of what I feel on it. Uh, it's been some years since he uh, uh, done a book. Um, I think the last one was the, uh, oh, I can't remember, the Dragon book, the, um, uh, hold on, Eye of the Dragon was his uh, last one. Uh, and it was okay, but a little bit of a, little bit of a disappointment. It was all right. Not one of his better ones, but, uh, this one, I mean, I've only had two tries once I didn't get past the uh, prison guard. And the second time I shot a uh, chest, an old-fashioned chest, then it blew up and killed me. Uh, the actual um, combat itself, it's more simplified, actually, but it... Is suitable for this book. Uh, uh, basically, uh, zombies have got one hit point each, uh, but there's hordes of them, and uh, you'd be using uh, uh, different weapons from a machine gun that can do 2d6 plus 5, from a baseball bat, which is 1d6, or a pen knife, 1d6 minus 2. So, if you're using a baseball bat and there were uh, 10 zombies, you did 4 points of damage on those 10, then 6 points worth of damage would get through to you. So, each point's worth of zombie equals each 1 point of damage. Uh, and it does work fine for the, for this particular book. I hope it... They, don't end up using that sort of style for the, you know, others that he um, ends up writing. She will be writing some at some point in the future. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I really do like this book. Um, yeah, set in a castle, in the modern day in a castle, and you get kidnapped, and uh, uh, basically your mission is to kill off uh, all the zombies and to stop this the the main guy which is hold on a moment uh, Rich Year uh, and yeah it, it really is a good book the actual cover I gotta say by and it was by uh, Craig Staples absolutely amazing uh, one of the best covers that's ever been put on a uh quite a fantasy book and i hope they stay with that format rather than the uh disappointment format of the uh some of the previous books lately which have been a bit disappointing to be honest quite well yeah really disappointing i didn't really like the uh covers to those but even got the green spikes all it lacks is the classic zigzags, which I would have I would have loved for them to have put them on. But all in all, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying what I what I've seen to do with this book. I haven't gone through it and beat it by any means. I've only had it today, um, because it's cold and that makes me feel a bit tired. So um, uh, I haven't really, you know, had many attempts just the two but there's uh you know like kevin crossley artwork there zombie tossing a grenade and uh there's one where there's a horde of zombies as well and i've got to say it really is awesome artwork uh one of the uh Better FF um, artists, to be honest. Um, really, really great stuff. Uh, there's one that has been seen before. Uh, 
just look at a few others as well. Yeah, this mad scientist is injecting blood into people that he kidnapped, which is turning them into zombies. So it's just a basic plot on that, but uh, it's uh, typically well written by him. And um, probably sooner or later, seeing this in the modern day, there'll probably be a suggestion for a film or something, or even a video game, though, with him. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. And there's a, one more. And it really is a welcome return. I really do hope that a release of this book will just, uh, you know, start interest in the books again. And in the future, there will be much more published by him and by different or authors, not just Jonathan Green, which is one of the best um, writers going. I am hoping and praying that one day that Stephen Hand will finish his trilogy of books, which uh, started uh, with uh, Shadow Warriors. Um, there was also the... Um, Oh, what was it called? Moon Runner or something? Yeah, Moon Runner was the second one. And he was going to write two more, actually. And one of them would have just finished off the uh, the other two books. And it's a shame that uh, we won't see uh, the finish of what he was planning to do. But I really am hoping there will be fresh uh, books coming out. Uh, sooner or later, as well as some uh, re releases from old books, as I always felt, you know, they should, um, you know, every few months release at least one of these brand new books from a new author and a classic release from the uh, books, some books that haven't been released yet, or other books that uh, they can re release, but with these cover, that type of cover, which is preferable to me. Uh, to um, what they did, cause like um, oh, I put the book. Oh no, I've moved the book. But uh, yeah, like like the uh, last set of books. Uh, well, very good, as I said. But yeah, it really is recommended. The only downside to to it is for some reason Wizard books decided to put up the price by £2. I don't understand why they did that. Um, um, yeah, I know it's not every day that uh, Ian Livingstone uh, writes a, a book, it's only once in a blue moon, but uh, to be honest, I thought it was a bit a bit of a cheek and a little bit much, but, uh, you know, char um, charging an extra two, two quid for these books. Uh, but I do suggest um, uh, trying out Amazon, and they're selling this book. Uh, well, I got this one for four pound seventy-one, you know, and it was free delivery, second class, you know, for the delivery. But it came within a week, so I was pretty happy. Um, yeah, no, we really recommended, and uh, that's it, really. Um, let's hope that. Um, the books last another 30 years. Uh, till next time.